How Rwanda became the cleanest country in Africa. Hello, Desplorers. Welcome back to another exciting video presented to you by Desplorer, and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall be looking at how Rwanda, a small landlocked country in Africa, became the cleanest country in Africa. For some time now, Rwanda has been on the map not only because it is an emerging country with an emerging economy, but also because of how clean the country is. Officially known as the Republic of Rwanda, it is a landlocked country in the Great Rift Valley where the African Great Lakes region and East Africa converge. One of the smallest countries on the African mainland, its capital city is Kigali. Located a few degrees south of the equator, Rwanda is bordered by Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi and the Democratic Republic of Congo. It is highly elevated with its geography dominated by mountains in the west and savannah to the east, with numerous lakes throughout the country. Rwanda has a population of over 12.6 million, living on 26,338 km square of land, and is the most densely populated mainland African country. Rwanda hasn't always been the cleanest country in Africa. The country has suffered one of the biggest crises in history, which made the country dirty, polluted, and dilapidated in the early and mid-90s. Fast forward to 2020, Rwanda, especially its capital city, has become the pride of Africa when it comes to cleanliness and green cities. Everyone who has ever set foot in Rwanda always comments on how clean and fresh the country is. The big question now is, how did Rwanda become so clean? Before we dive into how Rwanda went from dirty to cleanest country in Africa, if you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on post notification so you don't miss any of our videos. When Paul Kagame took over president of Rwanda, he introduced a strategic development plan for the country in general, and Kigali in particular. Some of these measures included 1. The ban of non-biodegradable bags In 2002, as part of the campaign by the World Health Organization to reduce air pollution and destruction of the ecosystem, caused mainly by plastic bags, Several nations were called upon to take stringent measures with regards to the production and usage of plastic bags in their countries. In 2002, Rwanda was the first country in Africa and the second in the world after Bangladesh to ban the production and importation of plastic bags. Rwanda has zero tolerance towards plastic bags and traffickers caught carrying illegal plastic bags in Rwanda are liable to be fined, jailed for up to six months or forced to make public confessions. The banning of plastic bags in Rwanda greatly improved the hygiene condition of its cities as most of the streets of Rwanda became plastic bag free. Rwanda becoming a plastic bag free country has greatly improved the hygienic condition of the country. Number 2. Implementation of the Umuganda Umuganda, a Kinyawanda word that translates as coming together in common purpose, is the name of the monthly community cleanup held on the last Saturday of every month. This holistic community effort to clean up the country is one reason that Rwanda is renowned in Africa for its cleanliness for. But cleaning up Rwanda is not a volunteer project. On paper, Umuganda is a utopian community fantasy project in which people come together each month to keep their neighborhood, town, city and country clean. During the Umuganda, police monitor the streets and can stop Rwandans who aren't participating and make them clean up on the spot. The penalties for not taking part in Umuganda are severe for Rwandans. Fines can be issued up to 5,000 Rwandan francs, nearly $6. That's not an insignificant amount when the average income translates to roughly $150 a month. During the Umuganda, everyone including the president and expatriate dine and clean in the streets and watering plants. What do you expect from a country where its president joins in the cleaning of its streets? Perfection, right? Number 3. Restriction of street vendors and hawkers In many cities in Rwanda, street vending and hawking is greatly discouraged, especially in the city centers. The Rwandan government greatly encourages hawkers to sell their products at assigned markets so as to avoid littering of the streets. Defaulters are most often then sanctioned. It is forbidden to throw dead animals, papers or any other related waste on the streets. Trash bags and cans are littered around major cities in Rwanda and citizens are highly encouraged to use them. This measure taken by the Rwandan government has greatly helped maintain order and cleanliness in most of Rwandan cities, especially its capital city, Kigali. Number 4. Planting trees to clean up the country 
Did you know that Rwanda is one of the only countries in the world that has a positive rate of forestation? Every year more trees are planted and protected in Rwanda than cut down. This is no easy feat considering Rwanda's population density and the economic pressure of the small land size. In fact, Rwanda is much more difficult to reforest than countries like the United States, Brazil and Russia, which have large tracts of unused land but still have negative rates of forestation. The secret to Rwanda's success is simple, good leadership. In the past month alone, many Rwandans have been encouraged to plant more trees. It is a hallmark of good leadership to balance the short term and the long term, to invest in what is needed for the next generation and not just to satisfy the wants of today. Rwanda has become an example for the world, from banning plastic bags to hosting a critical international deal to eliminate global hydrofluorocarbons. Rwanda has also taken huge steps toward forests in the country, creating long-term benefits for rural communities and the environment. Number 5. Building a Green Economy Rwanda is extremely vulnerable to climate change and it is trying to stem the environmental impact therein. Part of the African nation's effort to build a low-carbon and climate-resilient green economy by 2050 has been to create an investment fund that financially supports public and private sector projects. To date, the Green Fund has raised approximately $100 million and is the largest eco-friendly focused investment fund in Africa. Because no kind of nationwide effort can be sustained without a significant change of ideology, it has been vital for Rwanda to put the environment and climate change concerns at the heart of its development. This has paid off already as Rwanda's Ministry of Natural Resources was recently accredited by the International Green Climate Fund. The World Economic Forum says this designation will help the country attract meaningful new finance to help curb climate change, enough to enable it to maintain rapid economic growth on a resource-efficient, low-carbon and climate-resilient path. Solar Power and Sustainable Tourism Most Rwandans are encouraged to embrace the use for solar and renewable energy since these forms of energy are considered clean and harmless, there are even several hotels and hospitals in Rwanda that largely operate on solar energy. Rwanda is one African country that is currently on the path of going green because its leaders have realized the importance of going green. Rwanda is one country that is not allowing its small and landlocked nature to hinder it from striving. Its leaders, though not perfect, are working hard to make the country not only comfortable to its citizens but also to visitors. The country is clean, peaceful and beautiful. We highly encourage other African countries to emulate Rwanda and better their own countries and citizens. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy, do want to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.